What's going on guys, it's Nate here, and amidst all the terrifying Creation Club news as of late, there has actually been some pretty big, positive developments in the modding scene that I haven't really gotten around to covering, but definitely should have. A big one was the recent announcement that Fallout Project Brazil was now becoming Fallout New California. For those of you who don't know, Fallout Project Brazil was the codename for a New Vegas mod in development, which started back in 2013, though it could be argued that it was being worked on as early as 2011. And what Project Brazil's goal was, was to create a bit of a prologue for the events of Fallout Fallout New Vegas, and set it about 20 years prior in a different location in California, that tells the tale of the NCR's expansion and its impact on the world around it. Now at this point you may be asking, why was it called Project Brazil? Well again, that was just a code name that was inspired from the 1985 Robert De Niro film, Brazil. Why they chose that movie, I don't know, but regardless, as of September 1st, it was officially rebranded from its misleading code name to Fallout New California, and will be releasing before the end of 2017. The mod is set to add in an entire new world map, bigger than Fallout 3's, new quests, weapons, and everything you'd really expect from a mod that's had a longer development cycle than the game it's based in. I'd say it's DLC-sized, but the real objective here is to create something that feels like its own game, but still a Fallout game that builds upon the lore and stories crafted by Obsidian and Bethesda. Think of it sort of like Beyond Skyrim, but for Fallout New Vegas and 20 years earlier. You play as a Vault Dweller from Vault 18, which ends up being overrun by a coalition of Enclave and Raider forces, and then you're forced out into the open world of New California, particularly the San Bernardino mountain region, where native tribes and the Enclave alike are desperately trying to resist the NCR's encroachment. A while back there was talk about trying to make this mod seamlessly end just as Fallout New Vegas is starting to begin, but I'm not sure if that's still the case. Either way, the developer have been clear that storytelling is a huge focal point of this project. They've crafted a narrative that they believe is not only consistent with the rest of what we know about the Fallout universe, but one that also tells its own gripping story, with choices that impact the rest of the playthrough. It even has two main paths that you get to choose from at the beginning. Choosing either results in entire unique quests and options for gameplay later down the line. I'm hugely excited to see a mod like this be coming out so soon. There's a lot of projects with similar ambition, great ideas and plans that just end up falling apart due to team limitations or logistics, but it's always great when they're actually completed, and you get things like Bruma, Endrel, and The Frontier, and of course, this one as well. If you've been holding back on a replay of New Vegas for some time, or for whatever reason have never played it, this may be a good chance to jump back in. There's some pretty cool ENBs and retextures that help its graphics hold up to modern standards, and with mods like this coming soon and The Frontier already being released, there will definitely be no shortage of content at all. And even without mods, New Vegas' main vanilla story was a pretty good one in my opinion. It felt like a nice Goldilocks between Fallout 3 and 4. One offered you a lot of purely black and white choices, while the other decided to not offer you many at all. Obsidian did a nice job at finding a nice equilibrium and being able to let you make choices, but still feel like a person. Nonetheless, in the aftermath of the Creation Club, projects like this give us something to look forward to. If you're interested in playing Fallout New California, there is a beta, though it was released all the way back in 2013, and essentially since then, it's been rebuilt entirely from the ground up. But it's still a small taste of what you'd be getting. The full mod itself will be coming sometime in late 2017, before the year concludes. But thanks for stopping by everybody, links will be in the description down below to the mod DB page. It's regularly updated with information and you can also get the beta from there. So if you're interested in this project, I recommend you check it out. And if you enjoyed the video, like ratings are always very much appreciated. And how would you like to see these modders expand upon New Vegas' story? Because God knows Obsidian isn't allowed to. Leave a comment down below. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out everyone.